In another clip, we learned how to enable digital signatures in forms designed to be completed with the InfoPath filler application. In this clip, part one of adding a signature line, we'll learn how we can give users a visible place to digitally sign a form with the signature line control. Again, this is only for use when designing InfoPath filler forms, not browser-enabled forms. But it does support the Collect Signatures workflow in SharePoint 2010, as we'll see in part two of this clip. For digital signing of browser forms, review the clip on Enabling Section Signatures. Let's open the Backstage view by clicking the File tab. Click the Form Options button. Then, from the Category list, choose Digital Signatures. Here, rather than allowing the entire form to be signed, we'll choose to allow signing of specific parts of the form. To do that, click Add. Then type a name for the data to be signed. Now, to choose fields or groups to be signed, we'll click the Select XPath button. We'll select the group that includes our Expenses data fields. And click OK. Notice in this window the three signature options. There are multiple signature options for co-signing and countersigning, but since we'll be setting up our form for an approval process using SharePoint 2010's Collect Signatures workflow in Part 2 of this clip, we'll keep the one signature option selected and click OK. We see our signable data item listed, so we'll click OK again. Back in our form, we'll scroll to the bottom where we see a Submit to Manager table and a Submit button. Normally, we could simply add our signature line and then have users sign the completed form and use these fields to submit the form to their manager. However, we'll be routing the form using a SharePoint workflow, so we've replaced these fields with an empty layout table. With our cursor inside the table, in the Home tab's Controls group, select the Signature Line control. Now switch to the Properties tab and click the Control Properties option. Here we'll type a message for signers. Though we won't need to do so in this example, this is where we could also add a signer name, title, and email address to our signature link. Let's click the Advanced tab. And here we'll specify the data set we added earlier as the part of the form users will be signing. Then click OK. We could repeat these steps if we need additional signature lines, say for co-signing or countersigning, but at this point our form template is complete. Now we'll make it available to users and for routing with a SharePoint workflow by saving it directly to a SharePoint document library. We'll click the File menu, select Save As, and choose a library for our template. Then give the template a name that suits its purpose and click Save. Looking now from within SharePoint, logged in as a site owner, we see our template in a document library where users can now access and complete the form. So in this clip, we've learned how to add the signature line control to our forms, along with some options for how the control can be used. Next, take a look at part two of this clip to see how easy it is to route our form for additional signatures using the Collect Signatures workflow in SharePoint 2010.